Hey, hey, this is Steve Mackley from MasterTheImage.com. I've had a lot of questions lately on how to use our mask in Photoshop Elements. And so I've done a couple of different videos on how to use them in Photoshop, uh, the full versions of Photoshop. And so I wanted just to address some of those questions. So I picked a template out of the Senior uh, uh, Template folder. And this particular uh, template, if you want to work alongside with me, it's uh, the 12 by 20 poster uh, that's in here. We're going to go over several different things, how we I go about putting images in there. And so we're in the edit mode, the full edit mode right now, and we're using Photoshop Element 6 uh, on the Macintosh. And so uh, these same uh, ideas work with the PCs just as well. Uh, the keystrokes just a little bit different. Instead of a control uh, keystroke, it's a uh, or excuse me. Instead of a command keystroke, it's a, you just use a control button. So, but I'll go over those as we we go through these. And so, first off, is we uh, want to get our template up, and then the images that uh, we want to to use on there. So. Um, I just got three images that I want to put in here. So first I'm going to go to my template and so double click that somehow. Okay, so we have our template and we want to pick the first position that we want to put something into. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I leave the images in here on the template so you can kind of see what can be done. But to put your own images, especially in elements, you need to uh, get rid of that image that's in there. So uh, I'll just do a, a select all, control or command if you're on the PC or the, the, the Mac, um, and then just hit delete. And it'll get rid of that image in there. Uh, but the, the image, the layer is still there, and the image mask is still there, and that's what we want. So now we want to deselect. We no longer need these marching ants. So you can go select, deselect, control or command D. And now we want to paste our image in there. So let's bring up the first little image that we want to, to do. And uh, we need to do uh, select all of that image. And so what we can do is do a select all, control or command A, and then edit, copy. Okay. We no longer need this image, so you can uh, hit X to get let it go away, or you can just keep it here on the screen and then just go back to... Um, our template and we want to copy this onto this layer and so we want to make sure that our selection you can see the little selection around the box it's right there and it's not on the mask because we don't want to copy it into the mask we want to copy it on this transparent layer okay so we can do control or command V or we can go edit paste and it didn't do exactly what I wanted to. So let's try this again. Hmm. Let's, uh, you, you might experience in this. And so let's take off of the locking mechanism that locks the layer to the thing. And I think it'll work. There it goes. That's the thing that I was missing. Um, if that locking mechanism that locks the, the image to the layer mask is there, then it won't paste into there. So now we can treat this, uh, select that back again, we can, and we can move just the image. Now if, we, if, we, if our layer mask was highlighted, it would move the layer mask. We don't want that. We want to make sure that this is highlighted, so we click on there and we can position that if we need to shrink that down. Let's use a free transform. It's Control or Command T, or you can go Layer or Image. That's what Image Transform Free Tree Free Transform, and we can shrink that down in respect to the sizing that we want. If you hit Control or Command Zero, it will show all of the whole image box that we want. So we can grab those and pull those down. 
And that's probably about where I put that. And then you can just click the X. It accepts that and we're good to go. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other two images and then we're going to change the name. So um, select this uh, middle image. We want to get rid of that image so we're going to do a control A or command A. Delete. So we, now we have a clean layer. Let's put the close up image. So how do we go about that? Control or command A. Do select all. Copy. So it's edit, copy. Okay, go back to our template. Unlock the layer mask from the image mask, or the image, and we can paste into it. Control or Command V. And it looks like we have a uh, marching ants around this. So I'm going to do a Control or Command D to get rid of those marching ants. Paste that into, go image, paste. There it is. It appeared right in the middle, so we can move that. We do a free transform. Remember what free transform was? It's controller command T or image transform, free, tree, free transform. Cat's got my tongue today here. Okay, now that, see you can even rotate if we want to rotate a little bit. We can shrink that down. Probably would want to just crop into her little head just a little bit. I kind of like that. Okay, accept that. And select the other image. Untie the mask from the layer. Select all. Hit the delete key and then get rid of our marching ants again. So select, deselect, or c control or command D. Go to our, in our last image that we want to put in there. What do we want to do here? Select, select all, edit, copy, go back to our mask. Make sure that we're highlighted here which we are. Paste into controller command V. Let's slide that image over. I probably want it to be a little bit more of the, the face size of this one so they kind of match a little bit so we're going to do a control T free transform. Command if you're on the Mac. There we go. And accept that. And there we have those, our own images in that template. Now we can go and if we double click this right here, it'll highlight everything and we could change her name. And we could change the font if we wanted. We accept that. Hit the T key, will give us. Or we could come over here to our tools palette, select the tool type. If we want to change, say we wanted to change the color of our font, we could hit that. And then we could bring our little eyedropper over here to maybe we wanted to change it kind of a, a light green. Okay, hit OK. Changed our, our, our text right there. Say we wanted to change uh, the font. Say we wanted something... Uh, a little more scriptive. Cabell. Right there. Or non scriptive is more more typeface. Or now all of the I don't include the fonts on uh, any of these, so you can change them to your own fonts or you can go to where I get my fonts and it's dafonts.com. D is in um, Dakota. A is in alpha, font, there's no plural on it, just F-O-N-T dot com. And then there's tons of free fonts that you can, that's where I get all my fonts. And so that could, uh, I have thousands of fonts, I have way too many fonts. Slows down my computer really a lot. So if you wanted to get something, change the fonts, that's how you do it. And then accept that. And then it's ready to go. 
And so that concludes uh, this specific tutorial on how to implement uh, images into uh, the PSD Adobe Photoshop templates. And look forward to uh, uh, seeing you again. Thank mm -hmm. you.